Hello, I'm Andrew Zonenberg with IOActive, and what we have here is a home burglar alarm system from Simply Safe. This is a fully functional original configuration system. Alarm on. Home. Alarm off. As you can see, the alarm can be turned on and off using the keypad. When we open the door, the entry sensor does detect it. So what we have down here is a second Simply Safe system. The keypad and base station have both been opened up. I've disconnected the main processors and I've connected my own microcontroller to the radios instead. So now I'm able to receive incoming data from this system and transmit commands pretending to be it. So. Alarm on. Home. Warning. No link to dispatch center. This is a uh, test system. We haven't hooked it up to the monitoring service, so we'll complain about that periodically. You'll notice uh, that the LED down here lights up, indicating that we have received a command coming from the keypad. We have separate LEDs indicating transmit and receive status. So now that the alarm is on, let's turn it off. Alarm off. Now this LED here lights up, indicating that uh, my board has received a pin and is ready to replay it on demand. So now let's turn the alarm back on. Alarm on. Home. Warning. No link to dispatch center. And turning it back off. Alarm off. Alarm off. Alarm off. Note that the attacker does not need to know the pin. As long as he is able to get within radio range of the system with this recording apparatus, uh, then he can replay commands on request and disable the alarm whenever necessary. So we have here a Simply Safe keypad that I've modified in order to connect the radio to my microcontroller board. The base station, I've also connected the radio to my board. The remaining components of the base station and keypad are not being used at all. This cable here is just power, this is just power. The entire system could easily be set up to be battery operated, so it could be hidden outside of the target for an extended period of time. You certainly could build custom radio hardware in order to do this. However, Simply Safe has done us a favor by giving us pre-built receivers and a pre-built transmitter. So this was the quickest and easiest way of doing this. It took me only a couple of days to implement this from start to finish. Alarm off. You can see that the receive activity LED blanked, and now this one turned on, indicating we've captured a pin. Now let's turn the alarm off. Alarm off. This attack requires uh, one simply safe system, which can be destroyed by the attacker, a commercially available microcontroller board, a few pieces of wire, and time. The modified device is then hidden outside of the target's uh, house. Uh, anywhere within radio range will work, up to about 100 feet. Then uh, the attacker comes back after the target has come home and entered the pin. The pin is now recorded and can be replayed whenever necessary to turn off the alarm and break in.